Hey guys, it's Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitters for AwesomeCast.net. This is your mini AwesomeCast for May 21st, 2015. We're talking about Amazon's one-hour prime delivery service, now including local stores. But first, please check out our friends, SliceOnBroadway.com and BoldPittsburgh.com. And uh, they support the show. Support them back if you're in the area, if you're on the webs, if you just want to like them and say hello, uh, please do that. So like I said, uh, The Verge has an article uh, we're talking about today. One-hour prime delivery service, now including local Local stores and this is interesting and, and you know uh, oh no that's the wrong shot ah there we are there it is uh hello empty couch but anyways you know it, this is kind of interesting and i did find myself this morning we're having some plumbing difficulties uh and uh we're, we're looking for some items and and we're looking for something in particular and it was really nice to see a uh, walmart stepping up and we've uh, we've i don't know if we talk about it on here but the news for the last uh, week has been how walmart is potentially going to do uh delivery local delivery they have all these stores all over the place they have pretty much mini warehouses all over the place with their stores so that opens things up versus uh, amazon which is going to have to provide new warehouses to certain areas and figure that out or, or figure figure out you know something else so so when you go to amazon uh if you're on amazon prime you can order groceries uh baked goods and prepared meals according to the verge from dagnostino Wow. Uh, Gourmet Garage or Billy's Bakery with their shopping then delivered via Amazon's couriers in less than an hour. This is, of course, is uh, what is this? This is a Manhattan. And uh, the service is actually. You can choose free two hour delivery or paying seven ninety nine. For the one-hour option, and this is where you get that question too, because we had another thing where uh, there's delivery happening for Chipotle now, but it costs you about six or eight bucks to get that to happen. And uh, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's that important, you know. I guess, I guess if you look at it, is eight dollars enough? And you're like, well, versus me getting in the car, going out to the place, and spending the hour plus to do that. There was the, the uh, one night when we were dealing with some plumbing issues. We'd love that somebody just kind of showed up with the part we needed, right? Instead of us taking the other hour to do the round trip back to Lowe's uh, in order to do that. Yeah, right over there, we did some plumbing. Had a little bit of a leak here in the studio. Uh, but anyways... What do you think about this? Are you excited about the potential? And of course, we're not going to get this out in our old fair Pittsburgh or Cleveland's or wherever you may be at for a while. Uh, you're only going to enjoy this if you know you are in a major metropolitan era area. I mean, even this looks like it. They're talking about Manhattan. It's going to be limited, but of course, there are millions of people that live in that limited area. So that's that's where you're going to see it. And, and at what point does that become economical for uh, the rest of us on the outskirts? And maybe Walmart is the answer, because if I'm in, you know, little old Greenville, PA, there's a Walmart there, and uh, perhaps I can get some delivery. So, what do you think about the one-day stuff? What do you think about this upgrade? Are you excited about it? Let us know. Awesomecast.net and Awesomecast on the Twitter and all the rest of the social medias. Just take a peek for us, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.